Back in the garage today. In the garage. Back in the garage. Back in the garage today. What's going on, guys? Back in the garage today. Working on my 2021 KTM 890 Adventure R. What you're gonna watch today, I work for the 790, 890, and Norden 901 Adventure bikes. I'm going to delete the the canister or emission system off the bike because. I only ride in off-road and race purposes. Otherwise, why would you delete the emissions on your bike? I would never do that if I was riding it on the road. Uh, in any event, a couple of things. One, you need to know how to remove your fuel tank and also put your fuel tank back on. If you need to know how to do that, I'll link that video in the upper right-hand corner. And you will need this kit from Rottweiler. Pretty inexpensive. Fun fact, Sean Murdoch over at Decal Works messaged me and the uh, Rottweiler sticker made by Decal Works, same people that make the two-wheeled rider stickers. So um, anyway, we're gonna get into it, so uh, let's go. All right, so with the fuel tank obviously removed, we're over here on the right-hand side of the bike, we're gonna locate the canister. We're going to get this electrical connection undone. We are going to use some dielectric grease on it because that helps seal out dirt, water, those sorts of things. And then we're gonna grab our dongle. This is, came in our Rottweiler kit. What this will do is fool the ECU into thinking that our evaporation system is still hooked up on the bike. Just wanna plug that into place and we're done with step one. So in taking a look at this canister, there is a hose coming in from the rear here that's connected. We want to get that unplugged. Didn't think it was gonna be quite that easy. And now we've got this block off screw that also came in our kit. We are simply going to thread that into this hose if you want to cut some length off of this hose, you're more than welcome to. We're going to tidy all this up in a little bit, but we want to make sure that is blocked off. All right, it might be a little hard to see, but we've got a little rubber grommet here on this canister. We just need to pop this off of the clip here on the frame. We got that off. Now what we're going to do is trace this down and hopefully it's within, it's not within frame. Give me a sec. So as I was saying, you come down here, you see this zip tie here. We may have another one. We want to cut these zip ties so we can get this off of here. All right, so in the case of my bike, there was only one zip tie. Now this is, this hose is down here on this piece. We're gonna pull it off and uh, we can toss this. We're not gonna be reusing it. All right, so if we come down here on this charcoal canister, we need to get these couple of drain hoses just unhooked for right now. These don't actually have anything to do with the evaporation system. We've got a, a coolant overflow, and then uh, you got a tank overflow as well. All right, so hopefully you guys can see these two screws right here. They both have eight millimeter heads on them. So we need to remove both of them. All right, you can see we've got the canister unbolted here. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this zip tie here on this drain hose. We can pop that out and then this is just fished around there. We're just gonna get pull this thing off for right now. We're not reusing this. So we'll set that aside. All right, so now this piece, we are gonna have to cut zip tie right there. And we're gonna pull this entire drain hose out. All right, now we wanna pull these connectors off. All right, so with the one we just pulled off of this original little canister that we took off, we wanna go ahead and pull out this connector and we wanna grab the connector that came in the Rottweiler kit, which you'll notice is a little bit thicker. And we wanna take the two biggest hoses we have and we wanna get these two connected so it'll look something like this. Okay, so using that hose we just made up, you can see we've still got our drain hose here. What we wanna do is route this next to it. When we put the tank back on, this hose will go on the left-hand spigot. The one labeled drain will go on the right-hand spigot. So just remember that when you're watching that video. Uh, we're gonna <clears throat> fish this down in here and then we're gonna have it kick out over here on the right-hand side of the bike when I get done. All right, you can see I got the hose in here. Let me kick around to the other side of the bike, show you where it kicks out. All right, so you can see I've got it running down through here. I am going to zip tie it right here uh, where, where another hose was zip tied earlier. You can see where the, the old zip tie is. So this is going to run down through here. Now, when you go to put your factory skid plate back on, which you'll see in, in the video of how to remove and reinstall your fuel tank, this is now going to clip on to that little vent 
that's on the one tank protector. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the install. So I did get this fuel line zip tied down here. One other thing we want to do is we want to connect this back onto the bike here so that it's not flopping around. So just get a zip tie. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to put it here on this metal tab. And then if you want this hose that we blocked off earlier, you can tuck it up here somewhere as well too. All right guys, so that is how you delete the canister on one of these KTM 790, 890s, Norton 901, whatever the case may be. Fairly simple process, doesn't, uh, doesn't take a whole lot of tools or a whole lot of know-how. Uh, in case you're wondering the weight savings, I'm gonna flash it up on screen because we did measure everything or weigh everything. 1.4 pound weight savings, not huge, so why even bother to do it? It's just one less thing on the motorcycle that can fail now. So um, anyway, up to you if it's something that you would like to upgrade or modify on your motorcycle. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, considering that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about anything, I'm gonna link everything down in the description below. But if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.